Hello and welcome to a special episode of uh, Sock Pop in which I play every Sock Pop game uh, and sometimes two at once. So uh, I'm going to be playing Ball Spell, what just came out um, for the Patreon subscribers. Uh, and I'm also going to be playing Tuin, which came out last month. Tuin is a idle game. It's a uh, Sock Pop's uh, attempt at basically making an idle gardener, which looks really cool. Um, and Ball Spell is kind of like a, a Zuma-like. If you know what Zuma is, it's kind of um, like a combining almost a gem game, but you're you're shooting gems at and matching colors kind of thing. I, I don't know. Can't can't. Words are are hard sometimes. <laughs> so um, I'm occasionally I'm gonna I'm gonna start with two in. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna check out what we're doing here, and um, I'm gonna de weed. The whole garden because i've been i've been trying to set this uh, whole thing up and it's been a little bit time consuming so we've got a lot of a lot of weeds to to pull out and that's gonna take a bit but uh yeah basically two in um was a little bit inspired by uh gardener which i did check out previously on this ch uh, channel um and that was a that was a pretty hectic and really difficult game. In fact, I almost didn't even um, give it a chance because uh, I found it to be almost impenetrable with some of its challenge. Um, this one is a much more chill uh, experience, and I'm, I'm hoping that we can we can see some of the cool stuff in it. So, so what we're doing right now, uh, we get these quests. In this case, the the quest is to combo two onions. And like in Gardener, um, you can basically sell multiple uh, plants together for a bonus. I'm going to turn some of this, this sound effects down if I can. Oh, I can't. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, go ahead and turn that down in my sound mixer for one second. There we go. All right, so we're, we're growing the onions and we're going to go ahead and water them. And we get a little bit of water droplets occasionally and we're going to be able to upgrade um, our garden with um, the possibility of a little bit of automation as well as just um, just some convenience, some quality of life, uh, like being able to collect the water so that we always have it. But for now, we're just going to be growing some onions. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to ball spell and we're going to have that in the corner there so you can see what's going on. Hopefully it won't block the game too much. So, um... I think, okay, so we have a blue spell and we're shooting the blue spell. Uh, that's not, hmm, okay, I don't recognize. It seems to me, so I, I have to match things, right? But it seems to me I would want to match things. Oh, I see, okay, so we are matching colors. But, uh, did I, oh, I see, okay. Oh, in interesting, all right, so I, I, I guess we have a specific color and we can match the color regardless of the shape. So in, um, in Zuma, you're able to kind of like combine things and also have like, oh, that was green. That, that's my bad. Oops. You can have things kind of cascade where, uh, you know, you'll have uh, a spell like, let's see if I can. Oh, that wasn't it. That was it, but it wasn't the right color. Hmm. Let me see if this will work. I'm, uh, I'm. I have I have uh, I have this game very small on my monitor, so it's kind of hard to tell uh, what some of the colors are. Also, I'm sure for like colorblind, it might be a bit difficult. Let me see if that works, and then those will combine. Those were blue, so it doesn't matter. So maybe you need to have a certain number of spells combined with other spells before you can like combine colors. I'm not sure. I'm I'm kind of guessing right now, but I, I'm learning. All right, so those those worked out, and then those combine, and then those combine. For some reason, this rock didn't seem to want to, though. I'm not sure what's going on there. But we're gonna combine those, and those are gonna combine. And now we need um, we need to to get rid of this frog fellow. New enemy, Mama Slime, spawns more small slimes when defeated. Okay. Um, almost. Wish there was like a button to make things go faster, which is generally an option in these kind of things. We're gonna shoot at that slime O and see what happens there. And those are gonna—they didn't combine. I'm, I'm surprised. 
I'm, not, I'm a little confused as to how things... Oh, I missed. Oh, I got very lucky there. Very lucky, in fact. I'm surprised those rocks didn't combine. It seems to me like these have health and we're actually... Uh, combining things isn't good enough. We actually have to combine them maybe multiple times. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad shot. In order to, to get them to actually disappear fully. So I'm actually going to aim for this leaf here in the hopes that we can get these to crash into these slimes. There we go. There we go. And then they turned into some more slimos. Nice. Teacher, Terror, Terror Terry appeared. When Terry is hit, he enlarges an enemy, making it bigger and stronger. All right, let's go ahead and switch back to our... Oh, no, 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 no. You, you gotta have to, you're going to have to pause there for a second. We're going to switch back to two in, and we're going to sell these onions. Now, the one thing I learned while playing this game is you have to be really careful about picking plants if you're not ready to sell. Even just having them in this... Um, in this little panel here, they can go rotten and then they attract flies, which is a real problem. It's a real pain in the butt. So we have to, we're gonna sell an onion and a potato. We need a potato. We've got a big a bit of money. We can't yet um, buy uh, like any of the automation yet, but that's okay. That's gonna take a little bit of time. That's the, you know, like part of the charm of an idle game is, uh, you know, kind of working up to some of the bigger stuff. Like, for instance, we could um, buy a couple of plots. We have enough money to do that. And uh, as long as we keep these away from the weeds, that, that should be no problem. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for that. So let's go ahead and do our next level here. I accidentally shot. Oh, I see. Terror Terry is a, is a being. He's a human doing. Um, okay, so the, yeah, you have to combine multiple times, not just the once. So, I don't know, is that green? That, that is green, okay. So let's get rid of these slimos. And then that's green again, so we're gonna get rid of these slimos. They're, we're not getting rid of them, we're just doing a little bit of damage. And, uh, let's get rid of these. Nope, okay, so we, we need to continue. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad one, all right. Oh, just just barely made that one. Okay. Oh, I was, if I can hit these slimes, then I would have a pretty good cascade going. But honestly, just hitting this blue one would be pretty good too. That'll that'll do it. And then ah, oh, it, it didn't. It, we needed to keep that going. Um. All right. Let's maybe continue hitting Terror Terry because Terror Terry is kind of terrorizing us. And we're gonna combine those, and then we're gonna hit the hit the rock a little bit, but he's going to enlarge some stuff in biggin. Okay, we're, we're doing a pretty good job of cascading things. Are those, those are actually going to combine. He's, he's in biggening. He's in biggening. That's no good. All right. Um, can we, can we get those slimos to combine a little bit? Um, I might not make it here. This is not going very well. Uh, oh no, he embiggened the rocks. I didn't know he could do that. Okay, can we combine? Okay, I see I see the health bar now. They're they're kind of hard to see, especially when I have things so tiny right now. But we're we're doing a pretty good job of smacking them. Terry Terry is really making that rock huge. No! Game over. Wow. Dang. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's move back to our garden for a moment. Maybe I can do better at gardening than I can anything else. Uh, that potato isn't quite ready yet, but we're gonna go ahead and pick the, the the weeds real quick just to make sure that they don't get too close to our our garden. We don't have enough to buy um, two onion seeds. We have to do. Um, you have to hand in 19 or 20 quests basically in total in order to um, get a second slot of quests and then you can start working towards handing in two quests at once. That'll give you more money. I can just sell plants. That's totally fine. I'm fine. Like, in fact, as soon as I have enough money, I'll, I'll, I'll buy enough plants that I can just like sell more of them. Not really a big deal. Um, I am just kind of waiting for this potato plant to, to grow. 
uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind selling them and then setting up the next set of plants before I do an another round of ball spell. Apparently I'm very bad at Zuma. I did play uh, quite a bit of, it wasn't Zuma, it was the other one. Um, it was called like Ra or something, but it was like an Egyptian themed one. There was tons and tons of sequels of of it, but it was a, it was a really cool little game, a very similar format. So we're gonna sell our potato, or potato and onion here. I'm gonna pick that. So we need, now we need two carrots. We're gonna go ahead and plant two carrots. And then I have enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a potato. Let's set up two potatoes, just because I'm I'm hoping they will sell for a lot. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch back to um, ball spell here. So unfortunately, I didn't beat the level. I'm gonna have to try again. I was very close though, but I'm still I'm still learning. You know, um, sock pop is very much a learning uh, experience. That's that's how they go. You know, that's how they fly. Nice. I could ricochet some. Um, I almost wish like I had a line that showed me where the where the spell was gonna go, and maybe it could show me even like the ricochet. Um, not not a horribly difficult thing to set up, but I can understand. Again, these are like you know basically month long um, uh, projects, and then and then that's it. So I can understand uh, not really want to, wanting to set that up for. A project like this or maybe it would make it too easy you know there's always that uh, possibility as well okay so we sh oh no where's it gonna go oh it didn't go anywhere okay all right new enemy mama slime all right so yeah that, that works out pretty simple game so far i mean there's there's only the two colors I have to imagine there would be more colors in um, future levels and hopefully we can actually see those future levels and I won't be like horribly bad at this game. Okay, that was actually pretty good. We managed to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff at once. Uh, I want to I wanna, like set up a nice cascade here if I can. Oh, that was almost really bad. Let's set up, let's set up a, like a really nice cascade. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, since they have health, it kind of got ruined. Oh, and I, of course I double ruined it there. Let's see if we, oh, we couldn't kill the slimes. I have to imagine um, having spells or stuff combine does more damage than just like throwing the one uh, spell at something like the one combine. But I, I could be wrong about that. Oh. That's an interesting idea. We could like to get rid of small slimes, we could like separate the mama slime from the big slimes. I like the the sound effects in this game. They're really charming. All right. So, let's move uh well, okay, we'll move back to um to in just for a moment so I can pick the the weeds. But it seems to me I forgot to water the plants. So unfortunately they haven't grown at all. And this is one of those things you do unlock. I had a pretty good garden going. This is actually my second attempt to try this, this gimmick. Um, but I had a, a pretty good garden going with a, a little bit of automation and uh, a pump and a lake and stuff. And I had um, fences around all of my plants and it was really nice. Uh, and, and then I found out the recording didn't work. So... That was, that was kind of brutal, um, you know, and we, we <laughs> hence why why we're getting uh, our, our sock pop video basically a month late, because um, I, I just, I was a little bit de de disheartened by that. So I don't know if we, I think we only need to water a plant once in order for it to grow. Watering it twice obviously makes it grow faster, but I might be wrong about that. It might be that we need to water it twice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for oh no, I think they're growing. I think they're okay. I'll water them anyway. But um, you know, it might be that you only have to water them one time. Come on, rain. It's always nice when it rains because then you don't have to water your plants, you know? Okay, so the carrot there grew actually very quickly. Um let's uh move back. That way we can uh 
be sure that all of the plants will be fully grown by the time we're we're done here. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna play conservatively this time. We're not looking for good cascades. We're just looking for um, matching stuff. Cause last time I think I, I played a bit too conservatively, and it cost me the game. I am going to set up cascades if I see them, of course. But um, you know, only if I see them, and only if they're convenient. I also probably spent a bit too much time. Um, like doing crowd control. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's that was good. Ooh. Uh no, that wasn't good. Alright. Throw some spells at Terry. Terry is a pain. Um, I think we're doing an okay job here. I'm hoping- I'm worried that those, uh, mama slimes are gonna com turn into, like, almost regular mama slimes. Since they're so big now. Okay. That should be good. Come on. Yes. Solid. Alright. He's getting kind of close, though. Terry. Alright. Oh, no. That didn't- that didn't work. All right, those should combine and then we smack. Wow, Terry's got a lot of health. He's got a lot more health than I thought. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're gonna ricochet. I can't, I can't afford to wait. There we go. Macho magic unlocked, deals a lot more damage. Amazing, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's sell our carrots. We're gonna sell our carrots and we're gonna Sell our well, we could keep one of our potatoes. We'll so I'll sell this potato and then I'll uh, we may as well sell both of them. I could have sell, sold them both for a profit because I'm gonna have to wait for carrots to grow anyway. So we'll do another carrot and then we'll do a potato, and that's our goal there. And we'll do another potato, why not? And I'm just gonna water them all evenly and not uh, try to look for a double watering. I think that we only need the one water. We're, we're, we're looking for 17. I'm not going to probably get to the next slot here, but that's okay. We're really only looking to um, see some of the automation. In fact, I'm going to unlock that now because then we can start to see some of the automation. So we have roads, uh, decorative flooring, common in many gardens, keeps weeds from spreading. Those are the wooden planters. Ponds. So we want what we want is a pond, a hose, a water pump, and a siphon, and a water tap. So all of those are combined are, are going to be two, three, five, seven, ten coins. Ten coins. It's quite a lot, um, but once we have all of those, then we can start to um, basically store water and actually use it. You need all of the other stuff to, you know, can get the water back from the lake. Um, but I, I assure you it's worth it. And in fact, having a bigger pond means that you store more water. And then while you're waiting, um, you're, you're not just like, you know, when you come back, you can actually water the plants right away and not have to wait like I've been doing. Okay, so we beat a teacher and we only got one star here, apparently. Survive 10 waves. Um, seems to me we want to try maybe one of the other levels. Skyway. Okay, we'll try Skyway. So I have new spell, deals a lot more damage. So we can do that and then that does a big chunk of damage and we managed to, okay, that's interesting. Oh, these uh, spells are a lot, or sorry, um, enemies are a lot bigger and moving a lot faster as well. Okay. Ooh, wasn't expecting that to happen, honestly. Maybe if you can ricochet before, uh, sorry, uh, hit the spell before the ricochet lands, then then you'll you'll help. And I, I guess I got this back. I don't know if I only get one per. Oh, we have new. We oh we have new uh, enemies to deal with now. Oh, that was not good. 
We have crying, we have crying flat, uh, clouds, they're so sad. And then some of these clouds turn into a crying clouds. A lot of stuff going on here, I'm not sure what it all means. This is a really, like, charming game. Like, you know, all of Sock Pop games, the, uh, the style and the art are always super impressive to me. Um, and this one is no different. I really, I really appreciate just the kind of simplistic style of this. Okay, let's get that cloud out of the way. And there we go. New enemy, sun. The sun takes double damage when neighboring a cloud. Interesting. All right, let's, um, real quick deal with our garden. Okay, carrot and potato. Oh, the potato's not grown. Why are the potatoes? The, I guess the potatoes take a little bit longer to grow than the carrots. That's okay. We're not going to have enough to buy any automation just yet, but we can start, I suppose. Um, oh, I shouldn't have picked that carrot. There's a small chance it might uh, spoil bo before the potato is done growing. I really hope that doesn't happen. The spoiled plant or um, veggie is, is a real pain in the butt because it attracts flies and then you have this constantly annoying like and like just forever and then you have to save up for the trash can the trash can is 10 coins so it's just a massive pain uh i'd rather never have a spoiled food if i can avoid it okay so we're now selling another um double carrot i'm just gonna sell these two and hopefully we'll get a little bit extra I don't think we did, but that's okay. We got we got enough money now. So we're gonna go ahead and buy a pond and um, put the safe in. I th oh no, that's so that we can pump the, the, the water. That's that's the water pump. Then we get the siphon. We're gonna throw that in the pond. We can start putting water in the pond. And then we need a hose. And we'll put the pump there. And then we need a water tap. And, uh, you know, contrary to popular belief, the water pump, you can't really use it for automation. You can't just, like, pump water onto a plant. It would be nice, be kind of nice, but uh, it doesn't really work that way. Um, instead, we use it to reclaim the water from this pond. So, uh, my next task is to get two carrots. So, let's go ahead and plant those. And then we'll go ahead, uh, we have enough for two more like cheap plants we'll get two onions may as well use the water that's on the ground then we can pump why is that not working yo that's not working though why hmm why why for though is that not working though Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I think it just didn't realize it was all connected. Okay, that's that's working now. Um, and so like now we're there's not a not a great chance right now. You have a better chance if you have a bigger pond, but there's a small chance that when it rains or when this water falls, it will fall into the pond. So that's. That's nice. It's a small convenience, I'll admit. A very small convenience, but it's a convenience nonetheless. Okay, so that sun is taking... Oh, that was awful. Taking a bit more damage. Um, we, I guess we do have a cooldown on our spell, so it'll come back soon enough. We don't have to worry about uh, not having it ever again. Of course, that would be kind of, kind of absurd, right? Okay, um, they, they, this is all moving pretty quickly, but that's okay. And we managed to get rid of that balloon, and uh, now we are doing extra damage to that sun, which is great. I think we probably want to get rid of stuff like the sun first, because they're going to take more damage. Cool. Sun dealt with, they combine, they combine. They didn't, they didn't kill the other ones though. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these uh, clouds. Oh, I'm just like missing all of my shots right now. Oh, like literally all of them. <laughs> I do kind of wish I could like right click and uh, make 
you know, speed things up a little bit, like their their movement. That's like a very common Zuma thing. Um, would just make things a little bit easier or f f quicker. I, I missed like three shots there. That was really good. Okay, so I should be able to make this in time. They're, they're getting a little bit close, but that's okay. Okay, we need to get rid of that balloon. Oh, yes, perfect. They should combine. And then we just have to get rid of that cloud. There, perfect. New enemy, Bolt. When the Bolt gets hit directly by a magic ball, it shoots a yellow magic ball towards the wizard. Oh no, wizards, huh? Okay, um, I'm gonna pause. We're gonna get go back to a two in for just a moment. We're gonna sell our carrots. We're gonna sell our, uh, oops. I think eventually you can nail things down so you don't accidentally pick, in, you know, pick things up that you don't mean to. Take that coin, we're gonna de weed. And you can see the water, water did in fact grow, like pretty much grow exactly the way we wanted it to, or fall the way we wanted it to. It's like falling near the pond is really all I'm trying to say. Okay, um, and then we can tr we can grow some potatoes because we're we're pretty flush for money now. Um, get that last bit of water there, and I think what I'm gonna do is I have a, I have some extra money. I'm gonna grow the pond. Oh, that was a plot. Oops. Can I sell this? I don't think I can. Oops. I really did not mean to do that. I thought it was a. I thought that was the pond. And unfortunately, it means I don't have enough in the pond now. <laughs> I could explode it, but I don't think I want to do that. I, I will eventually make use of the, the, the plot, the soil. All right, let's go back and we're going to have to deal with um, a potentially, potentially a uh, wizard. Seems like the clouds um, are happier together, which might actually be a bad thing because it might mean that they take, they, they have more health when they're together. Um, so maybe we want to like separate the clouds and then get the clouds close to the suns so that the suns do take more damage and then, um, and then we can kill the clouds because then, then they're taking less damage or more damage. I don't know. I'm just, just throwing stuff out there. Uh, you know, we should probably use some of the, this big spell when we have it. Um, I haven't really been doing a good job of that. Yeah, that sun has a lot of... Uh, health when they're not close to something. It, well, that was weird. I guess that was because oh, we hit we hit it directly, so that's gonna matter when we uh, are fighting the wizard, which I'm sure is going to be a thing. All right, let's um let's cast that at that sun there. Um, we're actually I'm actually not doing so good right now. I'm a little worried I'm not gonna make it. Get rid of that sun. Okay, that was that was actually fine. New enemy saucer. The saucer always bounces off magic balls, but gets one damage when hit and changes color. Oh, interesting. Okay, so again, real quick, how come our how come our plants aren't growing? I guess our, the potato plants always take a little bit longer to grow than uh, basically anything else. Um, so we might actually, let's, let's, let's do another, um, level before we try meddling with our, our garden. Okay, so that saucer is a bit of a problem. Apparently, so they, they take a damage if hit directly. So we don't really want to hit them directly, do we? Uh, we want to. Oh, that that uh, that was just about dead. Okay, I didn't didn't realize that. Oh, and then they change color. That's kind of the worst. Um. All right. So this is uh, a lot to deal with right now. We got rid of that sun, and then those balloons. Nice. Cl the sun's gonna be taking double damage, which is always nice. I need to get rid of that saucer. Um, uh, nice. Combine. Combine. Ooh, that was nice. I got rid of the saucer. If 
I can get rid of those that that balloon I'll have a nice cascade going on there okay wait for it there we go cascade perfect oh, it ruined it um yeah the saucers kind of suck oh no I guess you kind of have to like hit them directly you can't really I don't know can we can we oh, oh that's the worst I hate them I hate the saucers yo we're about to die we're about to die yeah I, I hate the saucers that's that's really dumb don't like that all right best so we've only we only survived four waves defeat i guess the teacher was going to be on the the fifth wave all right well let's try daffy's uh castle i suppose and then uh, i'm gonna real quick get back to our garden we our stuff is, has grown now so we should be able to sell our carrot and our potato we get a nice chunk of change there and we'll sell these two potatoes as well oh i should have grown a uh a fifth plant since I have these we can actually well we could buy extra growing area but I don't know if I want to do that just yet got a bit of money you do get some random weeds which is nice so what I wanted to do is grow this pond out a little bit and you can see now I can fit more water in that pond and I'm sure eventually like eventually you can get like animals in this game like there's a lot of stuff going on in this game um way more than initially you know from from your first sight it's 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 quite a lot um so we only have we need to do 14 more so i'm gonna do onion and potato they keep they keep wanting me to make the potatoes unfortunately because the potatoes are kind of kind of a bummer what we're gonna do actually i'm, I'm gonna grow another soil and then uh, i'm gonna do another carrot and then we're gonna water all of this so we should have enough water for all of this and it'll be raining while this while i water so we don't have to wa worry too much about having exactly enough well maybe we do okay <laughs> we need we need that oh apparently okay i don't know where that water came from but that's nice Maybe you get like a little bit of passive pond, a little passive pondage. Collects rainwater and stores it for later use. Well, interesting. Okay, so there's our, our garden planted and we're gonna go ahead and do this uh, Daffy's Castle, which has some pretty interesting enemies in it. These are like little warrior dudes. Little warrior dudes out for blood. They seem to only need one damage though, so they're not like uh, a lot of the stuff I've been fighting required multiple com combina- oh no, never mind. Spoke too soon, I suppose. Ugh. It, it feels real bad when uh, you have- you miss your shot just barely. I really need to be making more use of that spell. Nice, nice. Okay, um, we should be able to. We're, we're gonna make it here. This is this is no problem at all. Nice. There we go. New enemy priest. The priest heals adjacent enemies. All right. Well, that's no good. We're waiting on that potato. That potato is gonna take a long time. But in the meantime. We can sell the carrots. The carrots were just meant to, to be sold. So let's sell those. Whoops. Hope, I hope later that you can nail things down so that they are less prone to being accidentally picked up. Sell all of that. And uh, we can grow, we're, we're gonna grow some more plants. We may as well sell, um, grow some potatoes. Yes, they take longer to grow, but that's okay. Reclaim the water. 
along with the rainwater so we can oh whoops sorry I meant to I meant to make a big I'm, I'm juggling a lot of things here both uh, mechanically speaking and uh, you know from a from an entertainer's perspective uh, and I'm gonna grow that pond out just a little bit I like this setup here um, I think if I was like oh well, that's that sucks we have to rewater that now because the weeds grew so I, I think kind of a maybe a small problem with this game is um, you can grow your farm but your farm is actually like the the space outside of your farm actually already exists and there's weeds growing in that space and the weeds um, more quickly than like spontaneously appearing uh, is, they will propagate quite quickly and so you have weeds basically in other areas of your farm that you can't really do anything like you can't pick them and they're propagating um, you know against your consent um, into your space and you can't really do much about it so uh, you, your your farm is limited to this space you can't really like uh, protect it and also similarly like I can buy um, a wooden planter but I actually can't put it up against the walls unless there's a way to do it and I never figured out to do it. But you like you see, like you can't really put uh, like the this, um, planter up against the walls. And look, you can see like that, th those weeds again, like invaded my garden space here. So what I really ought to be doing and is like once I've sold this onion and potato and we have enough, uh, farm here is I actually should extend the land here and now you can see all of the the weeds that are grown that have grown here and I can now deal with them and I can also um, actually put planters around my my plants but I, I think it's maybe a little bit of a bug I don't think it's very fair to for the weeds to kind of invade the space that you have when you can't really um, do anything about it but you know it's a very small gripe and uh, you know it only really matters once you've played long enough into the game that those weeds can can grow into your garden so our next um, thing is fortunately uh, actually uh, more potatoes so we already set those up but I'm gonna go ahead and set up the next onions we're almost uh, I'm almost done here I mean like there's plenty more to show off Uh, this doesn't seem to work all the time. Why, why are you not working now? It's not working. Oh, did I press the wrong... No, I don't think I pressed the wrong button. Oh, right. Okay, so I guess that you can, like, have it closed for some reason. I'm not sure what the deal is there. I wonder if I, like didn't have the pump no it just it just sits there maybe maybe later you can have like an automated pump or something like that um yeah we're almost done with this uh episode but you know i th i think that um two in i think two in is like if you know if you're gonna do an indie uh sorry an idle game this late into the whole idle game craze and um you know i think that that is super valid um, Tuin is a, is a really good entry into it. It almost doesn't feel like a, uh, like an idle game because it actually has gameplay. You know, like it has stuff that you manage and it has chores for you to do and that feels pretty good. Um, like, I think, I think my major gripe with a lot of idle games is they're, they're all like, you know, very m minuscule, uh, non-choices that you make occasionally and I mean like that's probably part of the appeal of it but you know the idle game the, the idle genre has hardly had much in the way of innovation um, since basically cookie clicker was made and I think it's fair to say that cookie clicker basically created this um, uh, genre that was nice castle tower enemies neighboring the tower are defended and won't get any damage unless it's another tower okay um i'm gonna real quick sell my potatoes so 
So now they want onions. That's actually ideal because we already have onions grown. I think that something you, you'll, you'll want to do is basically have a myriad of plants. So like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow another couple of plots here. And I do want, intend to um, put some, um, what do you call it? Patches around it. I wish, I wish uh, this was a little bit easier to navigate. All right, hold on, that's, that's okay. And we want this here so that hopefully it, it doesn't, it, it's easy uh, to not accent. I, words are hard, okay? Onions being sold right now. Okay. So we need two potatoes. What I want is a myriad of, of stuff. So just, we'll have like two potatoes and then I'm gonna do two carrots and then two onions. And then um, we'll do a potato and an onion. Cause it's just out of lack of any ideas here. So also we have more space now. That means we get more water. So that's kind of a, a nice thing. Yeah, like this, uh, this, this game to win feels way more interactive than most idle games. Most idle games, like there's the occasional interaction where you have to, I don't know, shoot up at or something or, you know, do this or that. And it's, it's okay. And there's, you know, some interaction, some player agency, but mostly I think the idle genre has been, has propagated on the, the basis that you don't, you, the player don't really have much agency. You have some choices that you make, but that's you know you're not really um you're, you're not really the gm you're you're an npc <laughs> you know if that makes sense so i'm actually what i'm gonna do i have a bit of extra money here is i'm gonna start getting some planters and these protect you from weeds so even if there are weeds adjacent to our garden uh they will not be able to invade which is nice and it's, it's pretty easy to alter the garden. So even though I have this a certain size, if I wanted to get another couple of plots, I can do that and it wouldn't be that much more money. And eventually you can get like animals and stuff like little chickens and stuff and, 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 and cows. And it's really cool. Like I, I really appreciate the ambition to, you know, as always for, for a, a sock pop entry. It's like, let's do, let's do an idle game, but like, let, let's actually make it good. Um, cause it really must be said, there are a lot of not good idle games, especially invading the, uh, the mobile market. Like the mobile market just feels plagued with idle games. And I mean, if you're into that, that's fine. Um, I don't think that there's ne necessarily anything wrong with that, except for the fact that a lot of them are pretty exploitative. Like a lot of them are like, yeah, I mean, you can wait for your cookie. And I mean, cookie clicker is actually like fine. There is not really any exploitative monetization, but for the sake of illustrating it, it's like, yeah, you can, you can have your cookie get clicked for like an extra um, 30 per second um, for the next day. If you spend some zappy points and, you know, make it, uh, you know, subscribe to our thing. And I don't know, it just feels like really, kind of sick I really hate that that just happened right now that was that was that that was bad these towers are seem to be really difficult to get rid of okay I'm gonna start like ricocheting these well I tried I tried to be cool but I, I, I failed as per usual um oh god get rid of these towers they're they're such a Pain. Also, I think the priests are annoyingly healing the towers, which doesn't seem fair, but that's fine. We are gonna, we're gonna win here for sure. Get rid of this, get out of here, priest. No one loves you. Oh, I don't know, maybe someone does. Probably, probably your mom loves you. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. Have you called her lately? I bet you haven't. Okay. New enemy paladin. When the paladin lowers its shield, magic bounces off of it. All right. So we have a new thing. Let's uh, let's 
Uh, well, we still are waiting on potatoes to grow, so I'm actually, let's, we'll do the next level. And, I don't know, well, when, as soon as I die, um, I'm gonna maybe call it for this episode. Oof. Okay, those spells ricocheting are, is actually a problem, for sure. Spells ricocheting is just, like, hugely bad. That's, and I'm sure that's hugely the point. <laughs> Get rid of these towers. Nice, that big spell helped a lot against the tower. You do get like a freeze frame whenever you make a combo. Um, so you have a chance to like maybe hit something else. That tower is almost dead, as is that priest. Ah! Oh my god. Now the priest is gonna heal a tower while. Yep, there it is. Hate you, priest. Oh, that is exactly the worst way that could have gone. That's a little bit frustrating for sure. This is, this is the worst. I, I like, you, you gotta be fast and also you gotta be accurate and I can do one of those things at a time, but not the other, not both at the same time. Don't be ricocheting my, my bullets, paladin. There we go, you're dead, good. New enemy catapult launches a rock every 20 seconds. The rock is an enemy. Okay. We're at uh, wave five of seven, I just noticed. Well, thank thank goodness. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I keep getting confused the, with my. Okay, never mind. Um, thank goodness I bought those uh, little fences because we're, uh, I'm now having quite, a, quite the problem with weeds. That's okay, we can get rid of all of this. And remember, there's probably weeds to my east and, and west that are slowly growing and in, eventually invading. So we have an onion and, and potato, so we can grow the, uh, sell those as well. And now we have an onion and carrot, and then we can do another combo there. And now we need two, two potatoes, so unfortunately the combo ends. But hey, that was that was really good. So let's do two onions, two carrots, two potatoes, and hey, let's do something new. Dry cereal grain only grows when watered often. Sells for one. I'm pretty sure there's corn. I want corn. Yeah, two corn. So I don't want to do the cereal. Cereal sounds like a pain in the butt, and it also sounds like something like maybe when you, we can automate uh, watering, then it's a little bit more viable. But I don't really want to have to be watering plants often. So I'm not going to bother with it, at least not until I have to, it's a requirement or a quest goal. So we just handed in three of those, right? I wonder how close I am, eight left. I'm sure once we get our second slot here, it'll start asking me for like more difficult to obtain things. Maybe it'll, maybe the third one asks me for chickens and stuff. Okay, that's that all watered. Let's shrink that back down and then we're gonna continue this. And uh, we'll, we'll finish this uh, set of waves and then I'll, I'll call it. For, for this, but uh, this is pretty good. And these these actually, these two games, two in and uh, spell, ball spell, make for pretty good companions. You could definitely play both of them at the same time. And, and uh, you know, ball spell is exactly quick enough that, you know, it feels, it feels all right. You could, you could, oh, I missed that spell. Uh, you could, you could, uh, you know, take a little break between matches and play some, Play some ball, uh, some two in. Check, check on your plants. Make sure they're okay. Are they okay? They're okay. They're fine. Uh, I don't want to use. I want to get rid of that catapult. 
it. Oh, stop giving me red spells. Okay. And I want a, gr I want a, a blue one. I want to get rid of that tower. Oh, that was, I just like threaded the needle there. Oh, that was the right, that was the spell I needed for the tower and the, and the paladins. Okay, let's make it big. There we go. Got rid of the tower. Oh, yes, threaded the needle. It's, it's nice when you actually like land your spells, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, nice, nice. Ah, oh, terrible, terrible. Shameful. You bounced, you bounced my spell, you absolute fiend. Those, those paladins really are pretty tough, but they are no match for my weak skills. Whoa, we're doing another wave. I shouldn't have wasted that on that. That was that was maybe not bright. Fortunately, there's a little um, blue dude right next to the tower, so it actually helps me do more damage to the tower. So, teacher Daffy Duke appeared. When they are hit, he turns a soldier into a small totem. Shield totems reduce the damage of your magic. Oh no. Okay, well before we do that, let's um maybe for the last time here. Uh, well, okay, we're still waiting on some potatoes. Seems to me the corns, the corn can take almost as much water as you want. No, no, they, they have a limit. Okay, we'll just uh, pick some weeds, get a little bit of money occasionally, which is nice. All right, so we're, we're continuing to wait on the potatoes there. Okay, Daffy, Daffy Duke. He's gonna be a problem for us for sure. He made a, he made a totem. We got rid of that priest. I'm hoping the priest did not heal the Duke at all. All right, this is going really well actually. I really want to, oh, that was bad. Uh, I really want to get as much, like, killed here before they turn that corner, because that corner is rough. Okay, probably doing a bit too much crowd control. I can always do crowd control later. In fact, I'm pretty sure once the boss is dead, uh, everything else dies. So it's not really a problem. What are those and why are they propagating? I'm sure is a question, uh, a thing I will be quoted on at, at some point. Oh no! Okay, once I have a purple spell, I'm gonna make it big. Oh, that was almost great. Um, I would really like some purple spells. Thank you. Are you kidding me? I missed. Oh, uh, okay. I actually call nonsense on that one. I hit that fair and square, my dude. Yes, get smacked. No! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. I might lose this. Please. Please die. Oh my god. He didn't die. I, I can't hit that. I can't hit- oh my god. Oh god, I lost. Alright, well, I'm not trying that again. That was- that was kind of frustrating, if I'm being honest. Um, alright, last- last, uh, bout of two in. I'm gonna sell a couple of potatoes. Uh, and now we need a potato and an onion, so I- I can't- I don't have that. I don't have that game. So instead, I'm just going to sell everything else. Let's just sell everything. And then maybe, maybe I can show off something I haven't seen before. And not grab the plots. 
22. Okay, whoa, a small egg breeds a small, random small animal placed in a nest to hatch. Okay, let's buy a, a nest and, a, a, and we'll buy an egg. I guess this is something that's gonna take time so you won't get to see what animal it is because I am ending the episode right now, unfortunately. Um, but I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, plant some more stuff. And, um, pretty much call it for, uh, two in and ball spell. Ball spell, very characteristically difficult. Is that a cat? Oh, we got a cat. Oh my god. That's so good. Look at him. Amazing. Yo, that, that's what a good note to leave on. We hatched, we hatched a cat from our egg. What a, what a great note to end on. So like, what's, what's his deal? Starving. Right, what? What do you mean starving? I don't have any food, my dude. Do I like need to have food ready for the animal? Do I need, like probably the cat wants like meat, right? Can I give them a vegetable? I sure hope they don't just die. Can I sell them? I can sell them for two. Well, that's not right. Um, let's see if I can't feed the cat. I don't know. I don't know what the cat wants for food. I'll give him some water. No. Sapling. Plant in soil to grow an apple tree. Oh yeah, I, I actually had a sapling in my last playthrough as well. That was like the best thing I had before uh, everything went awry. So the corn apparently needs to be watered twice before it'll fully grow. Oh, more than twice. They, they apparently need quite a bit of water. I really hope the cat does not die. That would be the worst. I, and I can't, I don't want to end this without without knowing for sure if the cat is okay. And if we can give the, the cat an onion. Carrot, here. Have a carrot. Can, can you have a carrot? Eat it. You can't eat a carrot, can you? Oh. Well, I don't know what to feed the cat. Cereal? Sapling? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's kind of brutal. Cat is starving, can't feed it. All right, well, if you enjoyed this episode of Sock Pop, uh, minus the cat, starving cat, <laughs> then maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time for more sock pop content. Um, take it easy. Have a good one.